Welcome to the Sky System of Simplified Exercises. This systematized series of exercises is suitable for all climates and for all sections of human community, men, women and children. These exercises, when practiced regularly, oxygenize the human body, activate the endocrine glands, purify the blood and regulate its circulation, rejuvenate the whole system, build up a very high level of immunity against all diseases. The result healthy body and a long span of life. Some important instructions. Let us begin with hand exercises. Benefits of these exercises are circulations of blood, heat, air and life force in hands and arms become normal and regular. Hands and shoulders are strengthened. Arthritis and conditions where the upper limbs become numb during rest are controlled. Pains in shoulder joints and knee joints are reduced. Trembling of hands and pains in finger joints are cured. Stand erect and keep the feet 6 inches, that is 15 centimeters apart. Lift the hands above the head to the full stretch and join the palms and fingers together. The arms should be close to the ears. Keep the arms up in the same position for 4 complete breaths. Then bring the arms down to the thighs and rest for two complete breaths. Again lift the hands above the head to the full stretch and join the palms and fingers together. Keep the arms up in the same position for four complete breaths. Then bring the arms down to the thighs and rest for two complete breaths. For the third time, lift the hands above the head to the full stretch and join the palms and fingers together. Keep the arms up in the same position for four complete breaths. Then bring the arms down to the thighs and rest for two complete breaths. Spread the hands sideways at the shoulder level. Let the palms face in front. Move both the arms to the front at 90 degrees to the chest and join the palms and fingers in front of the chest. Exhale while bringing the hands together. Spread the hands by moving them sideways to the back at the shoulder level. Inhale while stretching the hands sideways. Do this exercise five times by waving the hands front and back. Bring the arms down. Stand erect. Join the fingertips of the right hand. Rotate the right arm clockwise, that is front to back, for 5 rounds. Join the fingertips of the left hand and rotate the left hand clockwise 5 rounds. Then rotate the right hand 
anti clockwise from back to front for 5 rounds thereafter rotate the left hand anti clockwise 5 rounds keep the fingers in the position as earlier rotate both the arms clockwise from front to back elbows should be kept straight without bending do this clockwise rotation 5 times then rotate both the arms anti clockwise from back to front do this anti clockwise rotation 5 times join the fingertips of both the hands as earlier keep the right leg one foot in front of the left keep the right arm in front and left arm in the back rotate both arms clockwise simultaneously while the right arm goes into the front the left arm should go to the back and vice versa when the right hand goes up the left hand should go down and vice versa this is like the back stroke in swimming we do this 5 times then repeat the same in anti clockwise direction for 5 rotations note in all the postures the head should be remaining straight this exercise will do with open eyes stand direct keeping the feet 18 inches that's 45 cm apart lift your arms to your shoulder height keep the thumbs touching at the tips at a distance of 1 foot in front of your face turn the whole body gently to the right keeping the eyes on the tip of the thumbs when you turn right pivot on the big toe of the left foot and keep the right foot entirely on the ground then turn the whole body jointly to the left when you turn left pivot on the big toe of the right foot and keep the left foot on the ground repeat this exercise 5 times stand keeping the feet parallel and 3 inches apart place the hands on the knee caps bending the trunk forward bend the knees forward slightly and keep the knees close together rotate the knees together slowly clockwise 3 times then rotate the knees anti clockwise 3 times again rotate the knees clockwise 3 times we now go to the leg exercises the benefits are the legs are strengthened blood circulation gets regulated in all parts of the abdomen this exercise is curative and preventive for sciatica and arthritis by pressing and massaging the sole and the toes important organs in the body such as heart lungs intestines and brain are activated sit on the mat stretching the legs sideways keep the feet 18 inches or 45 cm apart keep the hands behind on the sides bend the feet inward till the big toes touch the ground or to the extent possible 
then stretch the feet outward till the little toes touch the ground do this exercise 5 times in each direction by waving the feet inward and outward keep the feet 12 inches or 30 cm apart turn both the feet simultaneously towards the left so that the little toe of the left foot and the big toe of the right foot touch the floor do this exercise 5 times each side keep the feet 1 foot or 30 cm apart rotate the feet clockwise 5 times rotate the feet anti clockwise 5 times again rotate the feet clockwise 5 times foot reflexology keep the right foot on the left thigh using both the thumbs of hands press and massage the right foot in the following manner the other four fingers should rest on the outer foot to help apply the pressure evenly first massage your right toe with both the thumbs then massage the next two toes of the foot simultaneously with each thumb the right thumb should massage the second toe and the left thumb should massage the third toe similarly the last two toes should be massaged with both the thumbs then massage the sole of the foot starting from the region below the big toe to the small toe across the foot then come down a little and start from the region below the small toe and massage across the foot to the big toe like this massage the entire foot in a zigzag or criss cross manner no place in your foot should be left untouched you should massage with your thumbs only with the other four fingers of your hands resting on the upper side of your foot then apply the pressure gently on the arch the soft portion of your foot then apply the pressure on the heel then apply pressure by both the hands on the sides of the foot from top to bottom bottom to top and once again from top to bottom the thumbs should press on the inner edge and the other fingers should press on the outer edge of the foot press the parts around the ankle joint the thumbs should press on the inner side of the joint and the other four fingers should press on the outer side next place the right palm over the inner side of the ankle and the left palm on the outer side of the ankle massage the ankle simultaneously on the inner side and outer side in clockwise direction massage like this for 3 times next massage the ankle in anti clockwise direction 3 times once again massage the ankle simultaneously in clockwise direction 3 times next hold the right leg at the ankle and the right palm and the toes by the left hand rotate the foot using the left hand clockwise with toes going downwards do this exercise 5 times rotate the foot anti clockwise the toes of the foot should go up do this exercise 5 times once again rotate the foot clockwise do this 5 times next apply the pressure with both the hands from ankle up to the knee keep in mind Do not press any point too much. If you feel pain or tenderness, 
while pressing or massaging that point. Now keep the left foot on the right thigh. Apply pressure on the left foot similar to the procedure we followed with the right foot. Sit in the kneeling or Vajrasana posture. Place the right big toe over the left big toe. Keep the heels apart and sit comfortably with bottom on the gap of the heels. Place the hands on the back, touching the spinal column and the two thumbs on the side. Slightly press the back from upper side to the lower side over the kidney region. Do this exercise five times. We now go to the neuromuscular breathing exercises. It has a number of benefits, regulates the endocrine system and oxygenizes the blood. These exercises regulate the endocrine system and oxygenize the blood. These exercises regulate the endocrine system and oxygenize the blood. They ventilate the lungs and increase the vital energy. They help in curing headache, insomnia, asthma and other bronchial troubles. Tiredness is not felt even after working for a full day. Students are benefited in the studies due to increase in absorbing capacity, retention capacity and recalling capacity. Functioning of the nervous system is improved. Sit in the kneeling posture that is Vajrasana with the right big toe over the left big toe. Keep your knees close together. Rest your bottom comfortably on the heels. Join the index finger and thumb of each hand forming a ring. This is chin mudra. Stretch out the other three fingers. Fix the joint fingers between the thighs and the abdomen and the other fingers over your thighs. Inhale slowly and deeply. Exhale slowly and simultaneously bend forward as much as possible without any strain. Your bottom should not be raised off the heels. While bending forward, the spinal cord, neck and head should be in a straight line. Then inhale slowly and deeply and simultaneously raise the body to the upright position. Do this breathing exercise five times. Maintain the kneeling posture. Bend both the thumbs onto the palms of both hands. Close the four fingers over the thumb and keep the fist joint on your lap. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly and deeply and simultaneously bend forward. Then inhale slowly and deeply while raising the body to the upright position. Do this exercise five times. Keep in mind that in both the exercises you should not bend your neck or head. Sit comfortably in a cross leg position 
Sukhasana. Cover the navel with the right palm and the right ear with the left palm. The folded left arm should touch and press the left chest. Keep the body erect and face straight. Inhale and exhale slowly and deeply without retention of breath. By doing this, a slight pressure is created on the front of the left lung. When a deep breath is drawn, the back of the left lung and the entire right lung are fully expanded. Do this deep breath five times. Change your hands to the opposite side. Cover the navel with the left palm and the left ear with the right palm. Inhale and exhale slowly and deeply. Do not retain your breath at any stage. By doing this exercise, a slight pressure is created on the front of the right lung. When a deep breath is drawn, the back of the right lung and the entire left lung are filled with air and are fully expanded. Do this breathing exercise five times. Cover the right ear with the left palm and the left ear with the right palm. Your left forearm should touch your chest and the right forearm should be over your left forearm. Inhale and exhale slowly and deeply. Do not retain your breath at any stage. By this exercise, the back portions of both the lungs are fully expanded. Do this breathing exercise five times. Cover the right ear with the right palm and the left ear with the left palm spreading the arms sideways. Fingers should touch the back side of the head. Inhale and exhale slowly and deeply. Here both the lungs are fully expanded. Do deep breathing five times. Cup your hands and do palming of the eyes with the left palm over the left eye and the right palm over the right eye. The eyes should be closed. Inhale and exhale slowly and deeply. Do this breathing exercise five times. Keep in mind that in each of these seven postures we do not retain our breath after inhalation or exhalation. We will now do the eye exercises. The benefits are This exercise helps us to correct the defective eyesight by toning up the muscles around the eyes. It prevents eye strain, itching and other eye diseases. By continuous practice, one can reduce the use of spectacles. Sit comfortably in the kneeling posture, Vajrasana or in Sukhasana and clasp hands with the thumbs together and upright. Raise the clasped hands to a level slightly lower than the eyes and keep the elbows slightly bent. Focus the sight on the thumbnails. Keep this posture throughout the eye exercise. Swing the hands horizontally to the right and left. The eyes should move from left to the extreme right and from there back to the extreme left. Give a slight swing of the head to follow the hands 
but the head should not be turned fully the movement should be semicircular do this exercise 5 times in the same posture with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails keep your hands on your lap lift the hands vertically upwards as far as possible and bring them down to the lap swinging the eyes up and down along with the hands the eyes should move in unison with the up and down movement of the hands you may move your head slightly but should not turn up or down totally do this exercise 5 times to remember the above two exercises keep in mind the plus sign the horizontal sign followed by the vertical line horizontal line followed by the vertical line sitting in the same posture keep your hands near the outside of your left thigh move the hands up and down diagonally starting from the left lower corner to the right upper corner then bring your hands back to the starting point outside the left thigh with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails your neck will turn slightly do this exercise 5 times sitting in the same posture keep your hands near your right thigh the eyes should remain focused on the thumbnails move the hands up and down diagonally starting from the right lower corner the thigh to the left upper corner the shoulder then bring your hands back to the outside of the right thigh with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails all the above movements should be semicircular do this exercise 5 times to remember the above two exercises keep in mind the multiplication symbol posture 5 in the same posture with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails keep your hands on your lap slowly move the hands and arms in a big circle in clockwise direction stretch your arms as much as possible to form a big circle the eyes should move freely following the direction of the thumb move your head slightly with the rotation do this exercise 5 times repeat the above in anti clockwise direction do this exercise 5 times draw the hands close to the eyes at a distance of 3 inches or 7.5 cm from the nose tip by bending the elbows then extend the hands away from the eyes fully straightening the arms then bring your hands back close to your nose tip by bending the elbows repeat this to and fro movement 5 times all the while keeping the eyes on the thumbnails palming eye relaxation after completing the eye exercises practice palming your eyes lightly cover your closed left eye with your left palm and your closed right eye with your right palm fingers of the left hand should touch the center of the forehead and the fingers of the right hand should be placed over the left hand fingers relax like this for full 1 minute we will now do the kapalabhati the benefits are sinus problems are cured dust and other particles in the nose and sinuses are removed the body becomes energized and the supply of blood to brain increases kapalabhati should be done with eyes closed sit comfortably in the normal posture that is sukhasana 
close the left nostril with the left thumb. Exhale forcefully through the right nostril. Then inhale lightly through the same right nostril. Then close the right nostril with the index finger of the left hand and at the same time remove the left thumb from the left nostril. Exhale forcefully through the left nostril and inhale lightly through the same left nostril. Repeat this sequence 10 times. Rest for 1 minute. This is one cycle. Do totally 3 such cycles. During this practice, the breath should not be retained or stopped. While exhaling, the breath should be forcefully let out. Inhaling is done gently and naturally. The mouth should be kept closed at all times. Please keep in mind that those with high blood pressure, hernia or heart problems need not do this exercise and if they do it, they should do it very lightly. We will now do the Makarasana. The benefits are It strengthens the abdomen muscles It normalizes the activity of the endocrine glands It helps to cure diabetes, arthritis, sciatica, blood pressure, hip pain, spinal pain and neck pain As the spinal column is systematically twisted from bottom to top, the backbone and the discs get strengthened. All the nerves emanating from the backbone are strengthened. Legs and abdominal region are again strengthened. The legs and abdominal region are strengthened. Obesity is reduced. For women, it regulates the menstrual system and helps to cure the uterus problems. Makarasana consists of two parts. In part A of the Makarasana, the basic posture is lying down flat on the back. The hands are kept at 45 degrees to the body with the palms facing up. The tips of the thumb and the fingertips of each hand are joined together like a ring. The other three fingers should be stretched. This is known as Chin Mudra. Join the feet together so that the heels and big toes of both the feet touch each other. Now turn your head to the right side, simultaneously turning the body to the left side. Take care that the shoulders are not raised from the ground. Return to the normal lying position. Now turn the head to the left side and twist the body to the right side, keeping the shoulders on the ground. Do this twist three times to each side. Turning the head to the right and then to the left makes one set. We do three similar sets. Please remember that when the head turns to the right, the body twists to the left and vice versa. This twist should be mastered well to understand the rest of the exercises. Bend the knees. The heels should be brought near the thighs and kept on the floor. In this position, do the same twist to the head and body as we did earlier. Turn the head to the right side and twist the body and the knees to the left side. Then turn the head to the left side and twist the body and knees to the right side. Keep the shoulders on the floor. While turning, knees should not be spread. Stretch the legs. Keep the right foot crossed over the left foot at the ankle. In this position, do the same twist of head and body as we did earlier. Turn the head to the right side and the body to the left side. Do this on the other side with the head turning to the left side and torso to the right side. Keep the knees straight while doing the exercise. Do this three times on each side. In the same position, keep the left foot crossed over the right foot at the ankle. Do the same twist. Turn the head to the right side and body to the left. Then turn the head to the left and body to the right. The knees should not be bent and shoulders should not be raised from the floor. 
do this three times on each side. Keep the right ankle between the big toe and the next toe of the left foot. Do the twist. Turn the head to the right and body to the left. The big toe of the right foot should touch the floor. The shoulders should not be lifted from the floor. Then turn the head to the left and body to the right. Do this twist three times on each side. Keep the left ankle between the big toe and the next toe of the right foot. Repeat the same twist. Turn the head to the right and body to the left. Turn the head to the left and body to the right. The big toe of the left foot should touch the floor. Do this three times. Raise your fists and legs above the ground. Stretch your right leg and right hand simultaneously and draw back your left hand and left leg. Then stretch the left leg and left hand in front and simultaneously draw back the right leg and right hand as much as possible. Move your legs as you do in cycling. The movement should be elliptical and cyclic. Stretch your legs to full length and keep them above the ground. The heels should not touch the floor. The head should remain on the floor. Do this exercise 10 times. After finishing this exercise, relax your body. Keep the fingers of the hands free. Keep both the legs apart. Relax for a minute in this posture. We will now go to Makarasana Part B. In the second half, that is Part B of the Makarasana, the basic position is lying on one's stomach. The hands are kept on both sides at 45 degrees to the body with the palms facing downwards. Keep the legs straight. Join the feet together so that the big toes and the heels of both the feet touch each other. Turn the head to the right with the left cheek resting on the ground and twist the body to the extreme right. The right palm should be flat on the floor. The left palm should be turned to face upwards. Now turn the head to the left with the right cheek resting on the ground and twist the body to the extreme left. The palms should flip so that the left palm is flat on the floor and the right palm faces upwards. While twisting as far as possible, the shoulders should not raise off the floor. Repeat the twist three times on each side. Bend the legs and the knees. Keep both the feet joined together from big toe to the heel. The chest should be placed firmly on the floor. Do the twist by turning the head and body to the right side. The right palm touches the floor and the left palm faces upwards. Then turn the head and body to the left side. Turn the left palm facing downwards and the right palm facing upwards. Do this exercise three times on each side. Keep the right foot crossed over the left foot at the ankle. Turn the head and body to the right side. The right palm touches the floor and the left palm faces upwards. The chest and shoulders should not be lifted. Now turn the head and body to the left side. Turn the left palm pressing the floor and the right palm facing upwards. Do this exercise three times on each side. Keep the left foot over the right foot crossing at the ankles. Repeat the twist by turning the head and body to the right. And then turn the head and body to the left. Remember to turn the hands also simultaneously. Do this exercise three times. Raise the right foot. Keep the big toe and the next toe of the right foot on either side of the left ankle. The left ankle is in between the big toe and the next toe of the right foot. Repeat the twist by turning the head and body to the right 
the right heel should touch the floor the knees should be straight turn the head and body to the left the shoulders should not be raised do this exercise 3 times on each side raise the left foot keep the right ankle between the big toe and the next toe of the left foot repeat the twist by turning the head and body to the right the left heel should touch the floor then turn the head and body to the left do this exercise 3 times on each side now you should keep the eyes open keep the arms raised and bent at the elbows extend the fingers and keep the middle fingers touching each other just below the face raise the head chest and the hands from the ground keep the legs extended straight now turn the body from the waist to the right and fold the right leg in such a way that the calf muscles of the right leg touch the right thigh now turn the body from the waist to the left whichever side the head turns the leg of that side should be folded the other leg being kept straight the whole exercise will resemble the movement of a crocodile do five twists on each side turn your face to the right side placing the left cheek on the floor stretch the left leg on the floor bend the right hand at the elbow place the right hand above your head with palm facing downward place the left arm by your side with the palm facing upwards close your eyes relax for a minute in this posture we will now do the massage the benefits of massage are it regulates the flow of biomagnetism in stomach and chest the internal organs are strengthened it helps to cure the hearing problems and regulates the functioning of the ear it also regulates the blood circulation in face and makes the face bright lie down on the back keep the whole body totally relaxed close your eyes now keep your right palm above the navel massage around the navel clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times place your right hand over the left lung massage around the left lung clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times keep your left hand over the right lung massage around the right lung clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and clockwise 3 times fix the right thumb in the ear pit of the right ear and the left thumb in the ear pit of the left ear rotate the thumbs clockwise 3 rounds anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times then press and massage all parts of the external ears including the ear lobes using your thumbs and four fingers place the thumbs on the temples move them clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times place your palms on your eyes massage the nose by pressing the sides of the nose with the little fingers from top to bottom do this exercise 3 times place the right palm on the right side of the face and the left palm on the left side of the face massage the face by moving the right hand anti clockwise cheek eyebrow forehead temple face and left hand clockwise do this exercise 3 times we will now do the acupressure the benefits of acupressure are short circuit of electrical energy in any part of the body would be cleared 
Acupressure is a preventive for heart ailments. It reduces blood pressure. It regulates the nervous system and reduces tension. It is very helpful in alleviating insomnia. Lie down on the back and close your eyes. Pressure will be applied to 14 points in the body. Bend your left arm at the elbow joint diagonally and let the first three fingers of the left hand touch and press the top of the spine in the upper back. This position should be retained throughout the acupressure exercise. With the tip of the right index finger, press point number 2, which is 1 inch directly below the chest cavity. Other fingers should not touch the body. Thus pressing, meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Then shift the tip of the right index finger downward by 1 inch to point number 3. As before, meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Shift the tip of the right index finger further downwards by another inch to point number 4, which is 1 inch above the navel. Meditate here for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right index finger in the center of the navel at point number 5 and press upwards. If you imagine the navel as a clock, then point number 5 is 12 o'clock. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Next place the tip of the right thumb in the center of the navel and press downwards. This is point number 6 corresponding to 6 o'clock. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the index finger of the right hand in the center of the navel at point number 7 and press upwards diagonally at an angle 45 degrees towards the right shoulder as if the navel clock shows 10.30. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right index finger in the center of the navel at point number 8. With the same finger pressing upwards diagonally at an angle of 45 degrees towards the left shoulder as if the time is 1.30 on the navel clock. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the right index finger in the center of the navel at point number 9 and press downwards diagonally towards the right thigh. The time on the navel clock is 7.30. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right thumb at point number 10 and press downwards diagonally towards the left thigh. The time on the navel clock corresponds to 4.30. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right index finger at point number 11 which is 1 inch below the center of the lowest rib on the right chest. Press and meditate on this point for 30 seconds. In the same manner, with the right index finger, touch point number 12, which is 1 inch below the center, the lowest rib on the left chest. Press and meditate on this point for 30 seconds. With the right thumb, press on point number 13, which is one inch below the extreme right side of the lowest rib. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. In the same way, place the right index finger and press point number 14, which is on the left side, exactly midway between the navel 
and the left groin that is the thigh joint press and meditate on this point for 30 seconds then remove both the hands from the body and keep on the floor relax for 1 minute keep in mind that when doing this exercise alone you can touch the skin of the body directly finally we will do the relaxation exercise the benefits are this relaxation is very helpful in bringing down the blood pressure it helps to prevent heart trouble if practiced regularly it reduces the tension in the body and the mind it reduces the tension in the body and the mind and brings calmness the body gets full rest it regulates the circulation of blood heat air life force and biomagnetism throughout the body lie down on the back keep the legs relaxed letting them loose the right leg to the right side and the left leg to the left side keep the hands relaxed with palms facing up close your eyes now start relaxing the body from the feet upwards relax all the 10 parts of the body one by one think of your feet and start relaxing while relaxing give this auto suggestion the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all good i am getting sufficient strength in my feet let them take rest the feet are relaxing relax 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 now think of the lower legs from the ankle up to the knee joint the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal i am getting sufficient strength in the calf muscles let them take rest they are relaxing relax 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 now think of the knees the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the knees are sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to our knees relax 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 think of the thighs the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the thighs are sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to our thighs relax 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 think of the lower abdomen the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the lower abdomen is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to that region relax 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 think of the abdomen the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal and the abdomen is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to the abdomen relax 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 think of the chest the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the chest is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to our chest relax 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 think of the shoulders and the hands the blood circulation the heat circulation 
the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the shoulders and the hands are sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to them relax 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 think of the neck the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the neck is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to the neck relax 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 think of the face and the head the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the face and the head are sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to them relax 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 the head is relaxed the face is relaxed the neck is relaxed the shoulders and the hands are relaxed the chest is relaxed the abdomen is relaxed the lower abdomen is relaxed the thighs are relaxed the knees are relaxed the calf muscles are relaxed the feet are relaxed the whole body is completely relaxed let us be like this for a few more minutes totally relaxing ourselves we are now completing the exercise while getting up first gently move the fingers the toes the hands and legs then put your left hand on the top roll over to the left side and with the support of the right palm slowly get up 